But if you don't get money, if they're the ones feeding you, there'll be a problem. So this is day six of following God's will. So today we're talking about, you know, convincing your parents, how to convince your parents about your newfound faith, about your faith. Maybe if they were Muslims or if they were not even someone of, if they were of other religion, maybe even traditional worshippers or something. Or if they maybe attended a different church, how do you get them to see that, you know, you're now, you now believe something else, you know? For example, in a church like Catholic, they still believe in like honoring Mary, but now you have encountered that, oh, righteousness by faith, righteous, or like deeper life where they say, oh, you can't wear trousers, you know? Different church kind of um, doctrine, right? You have now encountered a higher or a revelation or a doctrinal persuasion, I think that's the right word to use, that is now different from your parents' um, religion or doctrine. How do you convince them to let you do your own thing? So in this video, I'm going to be talking about that. As someone that had a little bit of experience with it, I can't say I had total experience. Why? If you remember when I shared my you know, video about how I got born again, I feel like I did not expound on those processes, on those journeys in between getting to where I am today. You know how your parents would be like, oh, it's because you are still small. What do you know about life? When you see life, you will know all these things they are telling you. You will use all these things they are giving you. You know, maybe like you, your parents go to church that you don't really agree with. Maybe they say, oh, come on, use candle. Or come on, do this. And you're like, no, that's not in the Bible. And they're like, what do you know? Which day did they give birth to you? I totally understand. I was there. Remember a lady that told me that, you know, her father disowned her because she stopped being a his religion right i don't want to mention the name she broke free from that religion started becoming a christian started going to church and her father said no child of his will be a christian no child of his will go to church and it was crazy he disowned her i remember her telling me how much she cried all she went through but you know this thing they are now back together she had a lot of praying to do but she didn't denounce her faith she didn't let go of her christianity for that purpose see the thing is that your family will be one of your biggest challenge see if you come from a christian home where they took you in the way of the lord be thankful because it's actually a great blessing for you to break free and say oh i want to go a different path it is actually by the grace and strength of god that can keep you going so anyway let me just get into it so the first thing i'll say as you know someone who wants to convince their parents who wants to navigate this murky murky waters <laughs> the first thing i'll say is first of all categorize their doctrine in categorize it by gravity what do i mean what are their doctrinal persuasion so if number one they are another religion entirely that one you know that okay this one i cannot do it anymore okay i can't do it anymore i can't continue to pray in the way that you've been praying maybe for example is islam or hindu or traditional worshiper i can't continue going to the shrine because now i believe in jesus christ so categorize it if it's that okay your parents yeah they believe in jesus they believe in god but their way is different from your way maybe they are catholics and now you're a protestant categorize it okay what are the negotiables what are the non-negotiables you want my prayer? because some people it's just that maybe their parent is MFM. Then they, they are now going to maybe Christ Ambassador, CCI, Avesta. They're like, ah, my parents are not letting me. Your parents' doctrinal persuasion is kind of close to yours, okay? Give them space. <laughs> In that situation, I was saying, just analyze it. Okay, this is negotiable, non-negotiable. So if it's a case of, okay, uh, my parents' church, they wear trousers. In my own church, they don't wear trousers. You can still negotiate that. You can still say, okay, uh, if it's just to have peace, I won't be wearing trousers at home. But if it's a situation of a gravi a, gra a grievous, well, what's the right English for that? A situation that is really, really serious, you can't negotiate that one. Then that one, you have to stand and fight. There's nothing you can do about it. You have to stand and fight. But then you also have to be wise. For example, if it's a case of like Islam and Christianity, maybe they say, oh, you have to, uh, none of my child will do Christianity. No problem. You start doing your Christianity in your room. You pray. If you start, they say, oh, let's go to the mosque. Or you follow them. But in your mind, when you first start, talking about when you first start, but eventually you'll be giving it little by little. You'll be putting it in their face that, ah, maybe one day you buy a Bible. They're like, ah, who is Bible? I'm the one who I now believe in Jesus. And you'll be putting it little by little. Say, hey, lie, lie. Say, ah, I'm sorry, sir. You go. Just, but categorize it. 
that's what i'll say the ones that are not worth fighting about don't fight just leave it <laughs> the ones that are worth fighting about fight and the lord will give you strength the second thing i'll say is that you should understand that your parents love you yes they are ignorant and make room for their ignorance don't always see that ah my parents hate me they don't want me you now start taking you now start say ah father i want you to just show them no 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 your parents love you i think that that mindset helped me because i started to see that okay they are just doing the one that they know how to do so for example my own dad was a muslim my, my mom was a christian but my mom's doctrinal persuasion i do not agree with when i started having you know revelation and understanding of certain things and i know i used to argue with her a lot like don't do that don't do that. and my mom would say ah what do i know and my dad would support her because my dad was just very liberal <laughs> so in that context i had to tell myself that they love me and it's just because you know they don't know any better just understand that they love you and see it from that angle make room for their ignorance right the third thing i'll say is that hmm. let me just say it as it is and you have to be ready to hear it are you ready to hear <laughs> if you are still financially dependent on your parents it will be hard to choose your own religion i know that it looks like blackmail it looks like um emotional you know emotional what's the word i should even use blackmail whatever but that's how parents are and you too think about it now you're a parent i'm a parent you may not be a parent but i can imagine my child saying oh i don't want to go to this church this church they're teaching nonsense the church that me i've been going to for long I, I kind of see the point as to why parents would be like that. And if I am feeding you, you're going to have to, if you're under my roof, that's how parents are. They're like, if you're under my roof, you're going to have to listen to my rules and regulation because that's the way they know and the way has been working for them. So to them, you are being rebellious. So the first way to break free, and I know a lot of people don't want to hear this, become financially independent the moment you start making your own money you can make your own decision because if for example your parents say i'm disowning you if you don't go to my church then you can say okay fine it's fine mom i'll be praying for you you go get your own apartment <laughs> but if you don't get money if they're the ones feeding you there'll be a problem and i'm never making light of the situation but that's the truth a lot of parents gaslight i think that's what i was looking for they gaslight you a lot of parents you know use what they have and it's not just parents a lot of people do it people use what they have to get what they want so if they need to use that to get you to follow their own way and another thing is that your parents are probably scared they are scared because of course we've heard of many false prophets so they are scared that ah, this one they are following because we've heard of people that gave their school fees to pastor and they couldn't pay school fees anymore we've heard of people who did crazy things in the name of oh my pastor said my pastor said and it's young people and when you're young you're gullible so it is kind of like normal for your parents to be worried that's what i'll say so this will lead me to my fourth point which is that you have to show them in character and in deeds that you have truly changed your parents should not say oh fadi came you wake up tomorrow morning and cook and do this and do that for me but 12 noon you are still sleeping then you now say oh i want to pray oh mommy i don't have time for this one they will obviously think that you are not okay they, will, they would rebel against you too if you that you're supposed to assist in the house or something you now start using church to cover up you start saying oh i have to pray i have to pray they will be angry okay so build your character that's what i would say build character let be known as a honest person be known as that person that actually wakes up in the, when your parents are seeing changes you wake up in the midnight you pray you wake up in the morning you say mommy i love you like what can i help you do this morning they'll be like ah, something is changing in this child and then when your parents are seeing that you're making good decisions they can trust your decision making process when you tell them certain things they will believe you if you say ah mommy i'm going for a vigil they won't say ah you want to go meet a boy mm -mm. you there's a way your track record will prove it if i if when i was single if i tell my parents oh i have a video they believe me because they know me i pray at home and they've seen changes in my life they see that i'm committed in my local church my local church people come to my house they know my pastor you know all those things they have effects in your life so don't be doing your christianity in isolation and say i've given my life to christ but now your church people don't know your parents your pastor your parents don't know your pastor you know let your pastor meet your parents or even if, if you're going to a mega church maybe your cell leader something let your parents be able to trust your judgment let them see it in your character in your lifestyle in everything you are doing and with time they will start trusting your judgment little by little the next point i'll say is negotiate with them 
what do i mean by negotiation you have to learn the art of negotiation in everything you do so for example with my children maybe my son is saying no mommy i don't want to eat this food and i know that that food is helpful for him he wants to eat cornflakes you know instead of him to eat correct you know maybe a mala or rice and beans or something more you know nutritious and i'll tell him okay you know what will happen eat this one when you don't finish i'll give you this one or i'll give you biscuits if you eat this you know negotiate okay you can't always have everything bringing that to the matter at hand your parents say no you must go to my church you can't go to that your church on today you tell them no problem mommy if i go to your church this sunday will you please allow me to go to my own church on tuesday please mommy there's something very important that i have to be at they'll be like mm. your mom will naturally be like mm. okay not like be like eh hey, you hate me i don't then when you go to the church you will now be frowning your face no don't do that that strategy cannot work i did it but it did not work it was you know the shadow that when you follow them to that your church you now start preaching to those people in the church say yeah, do you know that you start asking reckless questions to the children church teacher if they ask teachers teenagers church ask them why don't we do this in this church why is this in fact when they know you then you go to your own then maybe you are listening to a sermon you're like mommy come and hear this sermon you really love it put it on speaker let them be hearing tell them you know tell them good things about the ministry and sometimes when i remember when i was singing my, my dad would come and say hey, why is it that you know all these churches they like money money i said oh, no it's not like that though I, another thing is build your own you know bible study knowledge grow i know that it's not easy right but as you grow you navigate it so that when they ask you questions you can answer and if you don't have the answer go and search on google google will give you answer search your maybe your church archive or something tell them i oh, don't worry i'll give you a you don't have to respond immediately and tell them oh i will respond to you i'll tell you an answer in the next two days mommy don't worry that is how to do it negotiate it's very important another point i'll give you is that you have to make room for the fact that see they can never understand just leave it like that some people's your parents will never be converted if you like preach them for today to tomorrow some people are so engraved in their religion that they know some of them know that ah, this way you're saying may be right but they just can't let go of that life and it's not their fault it's the human nature understand that your family will be your biggest threat if i want to become a ministry they because familiarity breeds contempt right it will only take a person that is intentional that is a christian to actually honor the gift of god in your life many family members always miss that gift of god in their in their siblings or their children's life because they see them as ah uh -uh, did i not know you it happened even with jesus they told jesus that you know is this not uh, the son of joseph is this not the son of mary is this not the carpenter's son what does he want to do and he says jesus could not do any miracle there because obviously they were underrating him like how can you how can you be laying hands on people that are looking at you like so understand that your family will be like that and make peace with it <laughs> finally i'll say pray so the balance to the understanding is that you should just pray and keep praying keep praying that you know their hearts will be soft towards you pray that their hearts will receive light pray that they will encounter you know revelation pray that they will have an encounter with god just keep praying for them keep praying for them it is hard me i see our family members i'm praying for i'm hoping that one day it will happen but god will help us so i hope this video was helpful if you have any experience with your parents how did you convince them let us know in the comment section i want to see your comments please leave a comment below please do me a favor leave a comment also hit that like button that thumbs up yes hit that if you're even shy to comment at least hit the like button also subscribe if you're not subscribed and i'll see you in my next video